Hi, this is James in Zero WRL, and if you are a ham radio club that's getting ready for winter field day, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how easy it is to log all of your club contacts for winter field day using World Radio League, and get this, it even supports multi-operator logging. You can have multiple operators logged into multiple computers or even cell phones, and it's going to sync all of your contacts across all those devices. Plus, you've got real-time leaderboards so you can see how your club stacks up against other clubs. You've got ADIF export, you've got mapping features, and everything you need to make sure this is the best winter field day yet. Let's hop in. The first thing you need to do is set up a club account for World Radio League. So if you're logged into World Radio League with your individual account, go ahead and log out, go to worldradioleague.com, and you're gonna click the sign up for free option. Here you can enter the name of whoever is signing up for the club account, it doesn't really matter, and enter a club email or just the email of the person that's signing up. Next up is entering the password, and this is really important. You want to create an easy password to remember or write it down somewhere because you're going to share this password with everybody in the club that's going to be logging on winter field day so they can get into the same logbook. I'm just going to enter an easy to remember password here and I'm going to write that down so that I can share it with the other club members later. Click register. Next up, you want to enter that club call sign. And you can always change this later. So don't stress if you're not exactly sure what call sign to enter. You don't need to enter a phone number, but you can enter a quick club bio, click that you agree to the terms and conditions and complete registration. Next up, you wanna set a home operating location for your club. This is really important because this is gonna be the standard mapping point when you create a new logbook. So it's gonna make sure that you're, when you're mapping contacts, they come from the correct location. You can always change this later, but it's good to go ahead and set this. You could use a street address, a grid square, or find my location. Um, and I'm just gonna use find my location and I'll set my pin on the map here and set home location. All right, and just like that, we've got our account set up for the club. You can go ahead and share that password with other members of the club so they can log into the club account and they can even log into the club account from their phone as well. So if you have some users who want to log in you log their contacts using a mobile app, you can do that also. We need to set up our logbook for winter field day. And really important, don't jump straight to the logbooks. You need to open up this sidebar and go to the contest page. We're gonna go to the winter field day contest and click in. And here on the winter field day contest page, we can see that it's 14 days until the contest starts. You can see all the rules here. It's got a link to the winter field day website. It's got a place where you can see all the other users who are going to be participating in World Radio League. You've got the contest exchange rules, other things like that. But what we want to do is go ahead and click enroll now for free. This is really important because by enrolling in the contest, World Radio League is going to automatically create you a contest logbook that's compliant with the rules for Winter Field Day. So now that I'm got myself enrolled in the contest, I can click my logbook and it's going to bring me over to a logbook that's already got the contest exchange for winter field day, which is category and section already built into the logger. A couple final things we want to check before we start logging for winter field day. You can see this bar here. We call this the quick settings bar. If you click your call sign, it's going to open up your call sign settings where you can see operator and station call sign. This is great because each station or each uh, user who's logged in can set their operator call sign individually and it's going to track the operator and the station call sign which is great for your ADIF export as well as your individual operator analytics. I'll set my call sign as in zero WRL and everybody on other devices whether it's a mobile app or whether on another computer they can set their operator location. And you can change that at any time too. If you swap out operators, you can update this. Just don't update the station call sign as long as you're continuing to operate that station call sign because it'll update it for everyone. Next up, we just want to check the location. So our operating location uh, right now is set to home, but let's say that your club is operating from a park or from a special location for winter field day. Well, you can come in and set a custom location and you can move your pin on the map to another place and you can save that. That way your mapping is accurate and your location is accurate in your logs, or you can add another saved location here too if you just wanna save that 
that location that you're going to be operating from. That's going to be perfect when we start mapping our contacts so that the contacts are coming from the correct place. Just one last thing to set up our logbook is the My Exchange field here. So you have your regular category and section in the logging interface, but this is for the exchange that your club is going to be giving. So maybe you're a two outdoor station and you're in Georgia, your section is GA. You can check the rules if you're not exactly sure what your category and section is, but it's great to add this information so that it goes into your ADIF export. And it also makes it really easy to reference, especially for beginners. So you don't forget what your club's exchange is during the contest. All right, with everything set up, we are ready to start logging. So maybe I'm getting on the air. I log Andy in zero APX. I could see his call sign look up here. Let's say he's in one H in Missouri and I'll enter his frequency here and click enter to log it. You can see it shows up here in the log list and you can see it also shows up on the map. So it's starting to build that map as I go. Let's log somebody else. Let's Brad, log Brad K4AZE. He's, let's say he's also a 1H in East Tennessee. I'll click log contact. He shows up on the map as well. And in for BFR, maybe he's a two indoor and he's in North Florida. So I'll log him as well. You can see that also gets added to the map. This is an awesome feature because as you're going, World Radio League is building you an awesome statistics and shareable map that you can share to show off your World Radio League Winter Field Day operation as soon as the contest is over. And some clubs even show this live as they're operating. It's something pretty cool for everybody to look at maybe on a big screen. And if you have multiple users who are logged in, all of these log details are gonna sync across all those devices in real time. And it's also gonna have duplicate detection. So your entire club log is accessible by everybody that's in your club account. If you ever get out of the logbook, it's really easy to get back in. You can always go to your logbooks page and you can access your winter field day log from there. But what I would recommend is if you need to get back in, go to the contest page, select the winter field day contest again, and then go to your logbook. And the reason is, is because you have some great other features here, like the leaderboard. Now the contest isn't started yet, so you can't see it here, but as the contest gets started, you can see how your club stacks up on the leaderboard against other clubs. You can also track your statistics like bands and modes and QSO by hour. You'll have a map and you can see other operators who are on the air during the contest and other awesome features like that. Plus while you're logging, you'll have spotting, so you can check out spots from different clusters like the POTA cluster, a couple different clusters, even our own WRL spotting cluster. And all you have to do to add one of these to the log is just double click the spot and it's gonna copy those details to the log as well. There's lots of other goodies in here as well that you should explore. So if you wanna use cat control, you can come in and download the WRL cat control app. That'll make sure you can read and write your frequency from the radio as you're logging, which should make it super easy um, so that you're not having to type in the frequency manually. Although, you know, if it's gonna persist your frequency, so it's not too bad uh, doing that anyway. When the contest is over, you can export that ADIF, you can share it with anyone else, you'll have that map for your reference and you'll have all this stored in your club account. So to export your, log, your logbook as an ADIF, just go to the logbooks page. You can see the name of that winter field day log. You can hover over here and select export ADIF and it'll generate you a winter field day compliant ADIF that you can then upload onto the winter field day website. That's how you use World Radio League to log your club contacts for winter field day. I hope this inspired you to try something else. Maybe if you haven't used World Radio League as a club before, try something new. You might just love it and it could be a really, really good experience for your club. Check the leaderboards. I hope to see your club on the leaderboard. We can see how you do against other clubs across the country or just in your state. And our team is here to support anytime. If you have any issues at all, please do not hesitate to click that report a bug button, enter the details here and our team will check into it. Or you can click the community chat, you can create a new topic, you can chat with our team there. We are here to help anytime. This is James in zero WRL saying 73 and I hope to work you in winter field day. I'm probably gonna be logging with a club as well myself. So 73, talk to you soon.